Hello everyone, we're so excited that tomorrow, the 11th of September, is the Feast of the Nairus. Nairus marks the first day of the Coptic year. On this day, we also commemorate all the martyrs in our Coptic Orthodox Church. A martyr is a saint who had to die for the Christian faith. All the martyrs are, are our friends. In heaven, they pray for us and we ask for their intercessions. Jesus had 12 disciples. All of them were martyrs except St. John. Our Coptic church has thousands and thousands of martyrs. Most of them were martyred in the early days when Christianity was still spreading around the world. Other saints were martyred just a few years ago. Boys and girls are named after them. Even our churches, the patron of our church is the famous Saint Mark. He is so famous because he was the first one to preach and spread Christianity and Egypt and became our first Pope. His parents' house in Jerusalem had an upper room which was chosen by Jesus to eat the Passover and to start the Holy Sacrament of Eucharist. In this same house, the Holy Spirit descended on the disciples on the day of the Pentecost. St. Mark has so many titles. The Evangelist the Apostle, the Martha, and the Witness of the Lord. We also know so many soldiers that were martyred and became famous saints. St. George was the soldier. He is titled the Prince of Martyrs because he was an actual prince in the Roman army with 5,000 soldiers under his command. St. Mark Corius is a soldier too, known as Abus the Freed. That means he has two children here, not one as all soldiers. Before he went to war, Archangel Michael appeared to him and gave him a second sword of fire to help him defeat his enemies. And another famous Egyptian soldier is Nina St. Nina, my dad's name is after him. Saint Nina had a very popular friend that we all know. Yes, that is right. He is Pop Krolos. Pop Krolos always asks Saint Nina's intercessions, and now they are both our friends in heaven. We also know San Cedo, who was a very brave soldier too. We love so many saints in our church, especially who were children that's like us. We love Saint Abano. He was 12 years old when he was martyred. He loved God so much and he was brave enough to declare his Christianity in front of everyone. Although he knew he could be killed for it. Archangel Michael helped him so many times through his journey and because of Saint Abuno, many people believed in Christ. We also met another friend, Peter, that was 12 years old. When he was martyr, he was named Amber Although he was a child, everyone called him Amber, which means father because he was a spiritual father for many. He's also the patron of our kids' church. We celebrate his feast on the 25th of November. We love St. Kyriakos. He was even younger when he was martyred. He was three years old. Imagine! The only thing he could say is I am Christian. He was encouraged by his mother Semiesta, who was martyred just right after him. This reminds us of two more mothers who encouraged their children to hold on to their Christian faith. 
One was Saint Rafka or Rebecca. She, ha she had five children that were all martyred just because they didn't lose their faith in Christ. And the other was Mother Delaney. She had four sons. She prayed for them so that God could give them strength to declare their Christian faith. And they were all martyred on the same day. There were so many visions as well who dedicated their lives to Jesus and died because of their love to the Lord. Oh no, Saint Miana and the 40 virgins who lived in Iceland's house to worship the Lord. Later, they were martyred because they refused to worship any other God. Saint Fred Barda and Saint Juliana too. Saint Philomena and Saint Marina. They all refused to leave their beloved Jesus Christ. Mention every saint in our church. It will take days and days. Today we ask them to pray to our Lord Jesus that He may end this lockdown and look after all of us and all our homes and all of our churches. Amen. Happy Nehru's everybody.